Well, hello, my beautiful Leo. Welcome to my channel. This is Baba Jolie here with your monthly reading for March 2023. I've already cleansed your space and have meditated on your cards. For those of you who are returning, welcome back to my channel. Thank you so much for all your wonderful likes, shares, and subscribes. I am truly grateful for all your beautiful energy. Just a little reminder, though, this is a general reading, not a one-to-one -one reading, just so you're aware. Also, please be mindful. Scammers are about to pretend to be me and lots of other tarot readers. I do not do personal readings. I do not take your money e-gifts, donations. I'm not on Facebook, WhatsApp, PayPal, Telegram, or Patreon. I will never ask you for your credit card details. I will never ask for personal details. And I will also never give you a cell phone number to call. So if anyone masquerading as me asks for anything at all, please report them or ignore them. It is a scam, okay? Let's move straight on with your reading. I'm going to cleanse your space hourly, so please be mindful there's going to be three loud sounds. Let us begin. <laughs> Okay, my beautiful Leo, this is your monthly reading for March. I'm going to get all of your cards first before I connect to an outcome. But just to make you aware, March is going to be a pretty big month. We have two major alignments this month. One is on the 7th of March, and that is Saturn changing signs. Now, this really is a big deal. It is a serious planet that gives us all a very stern talking to, okay? This is the planet of hard lessons, hard work, and growth. And if you didn't think you've had hard lessons and growth over the last couple of years, um, let's see what Saturn's got in store for us all this time round. Because last time this planet changed signs was in March 2020, and we all know what happened there. So uh, let us see what's in store for us. However, this planet, um, although it is a very tough planet, is tough love. It does move into the sign of Pisces this time, so it will actually help us all overcome any obstacles personal development situations and strengthen our boundaries by forcing us to face reality. So lots of reality checks with this particular planet. Now, of course, as I said, the last time it changed signs uh, into Aquarius in March 2020. And Aquarius is all about the collective, okay? So um, that was obviously a collective pandemic and uh, there was a lot of rules and regulations and strict guidelines that we had to adhere to. This time, Pisces is all about your dreams. It's a transcend let me get my teeth back into my mouth. It's a transcendental um, sort of sign and it's connected to our goals, um, our emotions. So it will kind of encourage us to outgrow any escapist tendencies and make us face life to be more disciplined and uh, help us really accomplish what we actually set out to do. So this time around, it is a very positive force, but again, remember, it is tough love, okay? Um, now, Pisces uh, is a sign that is connected to the healthcare system as well. So you may see more strict rules, regulations, and guidelines um, in healthcare um, systems all around the world, maybe even a major restructure as well. So so um, that's going to be influencing us for the next uh, couple of years. Then we do have a massive transformation planet, Pluto changing signs and that's going to be into Aquarius, okay? Now, the planet is like a volcano. It uh, deconstructs the Earth, shall we say, it really um, brings a lot. I mean, look, as I talk about it, even the towers come up there. Um, I think two towers have popped out for each reading so far. So this really indicates Pluto's force on March in general. Uh, now, Pluto, of course, as I said, it is a very volatile planet. Um, it actually brings the hidden to light. It exposes in a shocking way. So whatever is not working for us anymore, it really will, you know, bring abrupt change into our lives, okay? Uh, this can be on a small scale, it can be on a large scale. In terms of global events, you may expect like leaked documents or secret information that has been hidden from the collective for years being exposed during this time, and you can expect that energy right up until the tw uh, 2024 as well. But it's not all doom and gloom and strict energy. Pluto is actually full of passion and power, and it actually enables us to reach the goals that we set our targets on and um, it actually helps us use our intuition as well to delve deep into that instinctiveness 
that is deep within us all. Now is the time more than ever to use your intuition and be guided. So let us see what's happening for you in particular. Uh, your second house of value is influencing you at this time. Now that's about how you value yourself in each situation. So you'll be looking at the people you surround yourself with, uh, your friends, your colleagues, if you're in the working environment, or people in general that you feel, um, you know, are people that you've got in your life for a reason or a season. So I feel you're actually going to be, uh, be a bit more discerning about the company that you keep. Also, the second house, you'll be focused a lot on your property or cash, your investments, mortgages, repayment plans, pensions, and things like that, just to make sure that you're getting a better deal uh, for your investments. But also, you'll be keeping an eye on global events when it comes to finances as well, just to make sure that you are in a secure position. Um, you know, there are lots of economic fluctuations all around the world all the time, okay? And I don't know anything about that energy, but I do know that there is major restructure coming in the financial uh, institutions or institutional bodies. I can feel it in the energy and I see that you are protecting yourself by putting yourself in a really good position um, to weather any economic storm. I can see that already. With the chariot card, you're keeping a tight rein on your finances. So that really indicates that you are being a little bit, um, you're trying to cut back in certain areas of spending. So um, also I see that you are really connecting to your calling this month as well, really having that philosophical question of where you feel like you belong and what you're called to do in this lifetime. March is a really big month for you. Now, also um, with your uh, second house, we have your ninth house, the great quest for meaning. So I'm not surprised to see that judgment card right there, the calling card, which indicates you have big dreams, you have big goals. And no matter what age you are, you are moving closer to those uh, things becoming a reality, okay? Um, I feel this energy where you may feel compelled to study or travel um, or even really... Um, connect to your higher calling on a deeper level as well. Uh, they want me to go one more, so I will. I would have stopped there, but they've asked me to go again. They're actually showing me an image in the water of a keyhole, a keyhole. Um, so this is a symbol that you may see over the next five weeks or so. This keyhole, let me see if I can tap into the energy. I think I'm gonna have to stop shuffling before I can tap into that energy. Um, one moment, please. Okay, so I'm getting this energy of either you'll learn a secret or a secret comes to light. I mean, of course, we have Pluto moving. So, uh, you know, this is something that's pretty obvious. But I feel you could also overhear something that you weren't meant to hear, but is actually very important for you or instrumental to your progress in some way. I feel... Um, could also be some of you are working really hard in silence on something, you're keeping something to yourself at this time, um, or maybe you have a crush on somebody and you're keeping it to yourself at this time, but I feel someone has a hunch they know. Uh, that's what I'm picking up there. So I'm, I'm, I feel like there is some sort of secret disgust or something comes to light, and that did not come up in the Scorpio reading. Um, so it's something that is very, just for you, okay? I feel like you overhear something or you learn something um, that is like off limits, but it's actually, okay, I obviously, I, by accident, uh, you know, touch the cards, but obviously there's no such thing as a happy accident. So there's no such thing as coincidence or an accident, it's a happy accident. So we got five of wands there. So it could be something that you um, are in training for. It could be, uh, you know, someone who is competition or is trying to challenge you in some way and you overhear it. So you're forewarned before it even starts. Five of wands is a card of brainstorming as well. So this is a month where you're really um, having lots of new ideas and uh, you are trying to diversify your life to bring a little bit more um, excitement into your world as well as a little bit more spontaneity uh, uh, there too. Some of you may even decide to take a course of learning or uh, you know study uh, to train for something like a certificate, uh, whether it's putting yourself on a course of learning online or uh, in a group of people. I really get a sense that you are ascending in some way, okay? So this was a a nice little happy accident that happened there. Uh, now your first card 
is the hermit. So this is a desire to withdraw and really recharge your batteries. I feel like you've been doing a lot. You may even be feeling that this month, you know, February, because I'm doing this reading in February for March, you may feel that February has like flown by and you're like, where has the time gone? It feels like you've been doing so much and let, and yet you're looking at what you've accomplished and you're like, but I still got loads more to do. Where did the time go to? So I feel March is the month where you really take a step back and recharge those batteries. Now, the hermit energy is really about seeking answers to questions that perhaps uh, have been bugging you for a while. So you may, may go into like hibernation mode for a little bit where you go off grid in March really to think over some issues in your life or even to think about your true calling because I really feel the month of March is where you really kind of deconstruct your life or rearrange things. I definitely see, you know, lots of uh, different um, ideas formulating for you. I mean, even some of you may think about uh, decluttering your life, um, decluttering your home. I really get a sense here of you wanting to be a bit of a homebody in the month of March, even though you've got to go out to work if you're, you've are you got a career and everything like that. But, you know, this is the card of introspection. So you're asking those bigger questions in life, like where you feel like you belong and, um, you know, what is your path? This is the path to enlightenment. Uh, we've got the moon card here as well. So um, I feel you're doing a lot of personal development uh, in March, a lot of processing very deep emotions, asking questions as to why certain things happened the way they did and how you can relate release the energy so it no longer has power over you in a situation. The moon card also indicates you are focused on your dreams. You're focused on making them a reality because the queen of wands is like you, okay? This is a Leo card and you are recharging your batteries so that you can be your best self as you move throughout the rest of March. But I feel the first week or so, you're really kind of like low energy and I feel like you have been burning the candle at both ends or feeling um, a little bit of lethargy there and the moon card is really helping you discover your path and you know rediscover your energy and your motivation. Now the moon card really indicates as you can see this figure it's like opening the gates to the path so it's about finding your way instinctively to where you want to go. And you may have to make some major decisions in the month of March um, regarding that path. I feel like you've done a lot of maturing. I feel like you've done a lot of growing over the last couple of years. And I really get this sense that some of you are looking at uh, your direction and looking at the things that you once wanted, that perhaps some of those things have changed. Some of those things maybe are not what you want anymore. And you're restructuring the way that you approach approach life and what you desire because you have a three of cups there and uh, you have the temperance card. Some of you have been really focused on work or you've been focused on, um, you know, your, uh, how can I put that? On your personal development, and you've not been going out there, you've not been seeing people as much. I know we went through a major pandemic, so of course, a lot of us were all shut off, but as things have opened up for quite some time now, um, you know, I feel like it's almost like you're emerging, and March is a month where uh, things just start to feel good, feel better, and I feel that there's an element of freedom here. I mean, some of you may even take a trip in the month of March, or you may uh, decide to make travel plans um, suddenly out of the blue at some point. I mean, you may just book it in March to go in another month, but I really feel like you've got um, bigger things on your mind this month. Also with the moon card, the moon card is a card of uncertainty, okay? It can throw up some fears or some um, feelings that perhaps have been deeply embedded for quite some time. I mean, some of you may even enter into therapy this month if you want to um, really resolve an issue within yourself. That's not all of you. I really get a small percentage of you wanting to do that or really, you know, embrace your emotions. I feel like there may be a few emotional mood swings happening in the month of March for you. And that's because of your uh, ninth house, okay, which is really about that great quest uh, of where you feel like you belong or where you fit in in the world or the world that you've built around you. And um, some of you may have been feeling that you're not getting out there and having fun with your friends, or there may be uh, times that you've missed out on because you've been working or focus on other things where you feel a little bit disconnected on the outsides looking in. And I feel you're going to restructure your life or your schedule to make sure that you can connect to the things that really matter to you and to the people that really matter to you as well. Now, 
because as you can see this figure, this is your protagonist energy. I feel like there is a major obstacle that you are looking at right now. It could be a conundrum to something that you're trying to work out. Um, maybe it's something you've never done before and you're like, where do I get the information to know the path that I should take? It could be something as simple as how do I set up my own business? It could be right down to you know, how do I uh, become economically secure? How do I find love? How do I put myself in a position of security? Whatever the question is that you have, I feel like you're going to go deep diving to find the answer and you will find the answer, okay? So I feel this month is a very big month for you discovering things, discovering things about yourself on a personal level, but also discovering things that perhaps you've needed answers to for quite some time. Because I feel with the moon card, there is a bit of um, a transformational energy about you. You're in a period of um, metamorphosis where you're becoming aware of your shadow self, that you've learned a lot of lessons, you've matured because of those things, and you're trying to release any like negativity or you're trying to become like aware of what you really want inside. So I feel like you're trying to build a quieter world around you at the moment so that you can find the answers that you seek. So I definitely see March being, you know, you recharging the batteries so that um, you can emerge as, you know, this glorious, um, energetic, victorious being that you are. Now, this of course is the Queen of Wands who is very, very passionate. And you may have felt that um, because of low energy or low motivation, you may have felt that perhaps you've been a bit out of touch with your goals or you felt you know what you need to do, but you feel unmotivated to do those things. I mean, if you even look at the introspection card there, uh, there's like a, a dream catcher on the hand. So it's like, you know what your destiny is, you know what your dreams are, you know what your goals are, uh, but you may have felt uh, that you just want to hibernate and you've had low energy recently and you're like, let's forget the world. Um, I want to get off because the world just seems like a crazy place, but you're just burnt out. You've been doing a lot. They're giving me the word fatigue. Now this came up in a reading um, a couple of days ago. So maybe it was even for your sign and it's resurfacing in the water for you. Uh, but if that's the case, I feel March is going to be easier for you because you are going to be charged and ready for action. The Queen of Wands is someone who turns heads, is magnetic. You're going to get a lot of attention in the month of March. So if you are someone who's single and you're looking for love, I see a suitor here for you. I see someone who is attracted to you and they're attracted to your passion. They're attracted to your inner light because you, I always say this, you're born to shine naturally, but you don't want to be shining all the time because that just burns you out. And it also attracts a lot of people who want to energy vampire you, who want to steal your energy so they can shine as bright as you, but they don't deserve to be in that light because they're not bringing anything unique to the situation, whereas you are. This is a card of vitality, okay? So I really feel um, that this is going to be a very passionate month for you where you're um, in action mode, you're being very productive, you're doing, you're going to be very creative and you're going to have lots of wonderful ideas. And with this card also, I feel there are going to be friends in high places. So if you need help in any area of your life, there's going to be people who want to give you the knowledge that you seek. But I do feel like you may overhear or suddenly discover um, a piece of information that was not meant for your ears, but is important or was not meant for your eyes, but is important. And it's something that you um, are going to feel like lucky that you discovered before it became out in the open or something like that. That's what, what I really feel. So for example, and this is not, um, Okay, I'm just gonna give you an example, and this is the first example that came to me. For example, you may hear that there's going to be some restructures at work, and uh, they may like need to let some people go, or things like that, and you're like, oh my gosh, what does that mean for me? Um, and I feel that actually um, looking at you, I feel some of you may decide to take that information and leave anyway. Uh, but I feel that um, in your position, I feel like you're safe in your position, but I feel you are aware of it for the collective of the people that you work with. But I feel forewarned is forearmed. So I feel like you will do whatever you want with that information based on how you feel about where you are at this moment in time. Uh, I don't feel like that's an energy for everybody, okay? I feel like there's about 40% energy for that. So I just want you to be clear on that. Now the Queen of Wands makes a promise to herself, okay? Male or female, not a gender specific reading, 
it's about the energy and the queen of wands her promise to herself is i'm only going to go where i'm happy i'm only going to spend time in people's company where i feel happy i'm only going to um, you know look at things online that make me happy i'm not going to connect to anything that tries to bring me down because life is all about ups and downs and it's difficult and you're in a state right now where you're no I just feel like you're trying to cut yourself off from anything negative so that you can focus on your passion, you can focus on your path, and you can focus on having uh, fun or enjoying yourself because life is too short to be um, brought down by the negative energies. Um, also, this card is um, giving me an energy of creative collaborations, soul connections. So I definitely see that this is a month of connecting to people who vibe at the same frequency as you. You're being encouraged by the universe to express yourself in your own unique way and I feel like you outshine a lot of situations so I mean you've got the two moon cards here uh, well introspection we've got of course uh, is the hermit energy and there's a moon on there and a moon um on the moon card, of course, but we've got the queen of wands, which is someone who is super passionate. So I feel like you're going to look at areas in your life where you feel things that drain you and you're going to try and eradicate those from your waking day. So this could be food related. It could be like, okay, I'm not going to eat that anymore because it makes me feel low energy or bloated, or just makes me feel like I want to sleep or, you know, I feel like you're cutting that out. Uh, some of you may be like, you know what, that person, every time I speak to them, they drain my energy and it makes me feel like I want to run for the hills and, you know, just um, curl up in a ball. And you may just like, I can't take that person anymore. I've really got to limit the amount of time I spend in that situation. And it could also be, you know, experiences at work. If you're in a career at the moment, you may feel, you know what, there's a lot of things that I've got to do, but there is one thing that takes up too much time and it's not um, efficient enough to be using it in my practice. So I may eradicate that or ask my boss, can I cut that out? And I don't need to do that anymore. I'm gonna find an alternative way of doing it so that I can you know, focus on a lot more other things and this thing is not wasting my time. Um, if you're retired, I feel like you're really looking at things that excite you um, and that do not drain you. And I feel like you're really searching for a connection with your higher purpose and with your belief system or whatever source you celebrate. I feel like you're going to be connecting to that. But I also see if you're retired that you uh, may be booking some sort of travel to a place that you feel drawn to or compelled to visit um, where there is rich history. Um, and whether you're retired or not, I feel like you have a calling to go somewhere at this time to really soak up the sun, but also to soak up the history because I feel feel with the high priestess energy, you're all about the mysteries of civilization and the mysteries of uh, the ancestors that went before. So I do feel some of you may actually be thinking about, uh, I mean, there's going to be someone in particular on your mind um, throughout, throughout the month of March. Maybe there's an anniversary of someone passing. This person is going to visit you in some way by leaving you a little sign is what they're showing me, okay? And this sign uh, they're showing me is a padlock. Okay, so when you see a padlock, it just means that this person is popping in to say that you're secure, that they're looking after you, that they got you, okay? So I'm sending you a hug out there as well, myself, my beautiful Leo, but they're indicating someone from spirit is going to drop on in by giving you a sign. Uh, it could even be that you've got a padlock on the table right now and it just by accident drops off onto the floor. It's someone letting you know, I'm here, I got you, you're safe, I love you. And you know, uh, you know, um, they're showing me, you know, some people, they go to certain bridges around the world and they put a padlock and it's like, love you forever. Okay. I mean, that can be a romantic gesture, but I feel it doesn't have to be a romantic gesture in this uh, circumstance. I feel it's more of a love gesture from someone who really cares about you, who's already passed on. Okay. So just watch out for that. Um, now we do have the tower. It's in the resistance position. And if you're going to get the tower in any position in your reading, you want it in this one because it means you avert disaster. It means that if there's any anything difficult um, or anything that could potentially go wrong, I feel like you intuitively see it before it happens and you, you put out that fire, shall we say. So for example, if you're at work and there's like a big project on and there's a deadline looming and you don't think that everybody's ready to meet that deadline, I feel just under the wire, you deliver everything and it's perfect, okay? Um, so I feel whatever it is for you, I feel 
that you've got this. And also with the tower energy in this position, there's something here that you've been avoiding. Uh, it could be a friend or it could be, um, you know, going out and drinking or spending um, because I feel like you're trying to create balance and harmony in your world. Remember, it's important, of course, to have balance, but don't cut yourself off completely from everything because Leo, you absorb energy, okay? And you are a big ball of energy also, and we need energy exchanges. So whilst it's nice to be, you know, in a sanctuary all by yourself in hibernation mode, you do need inspiration from other people. How many times have you ever gone and met a friend that you haven't seen for ages and you leave like floating on air thinking, wow, I'm so glad I saw that person. I haven't seen them in years and it feels like yesterday. And the, the energy is like vibing so high. So it really is important to make sure um, that you understand the, the level of balance in your life. And I'm sure you do, but there's something here about you um, either being a little bit more cut off than usual in March and um, the universe is kind of giving you a hint uh, to get out there and spread the love or you know um, connect to things that really make you happy and people that really make you happy also I mean we've got the tower in this card um, it's the revelation so suddenly lots of epiphanies that will help you on your path and I feel that you are going to make a major change in your life some of you may restructure your life or your schedule in a very um, sharp way or a very um, how can I put that very strict way where you uh, suddenly change everything. You could change direction in career. You could, uh, you know, suddenly decide to change your mind on something. I also get, and I'm going to pull a card on this. Uh, this is a card that indicates you exposing the truth of a situation in order to change it. Okay. It could have been a difficult situation um, where uh, you feel a little bit stuck. You've been in your comfort zone for some time. I mean, if you look at these cards and you think if you've been a homebody for quite some time and you want to find love, the universe is kind of nudging you. Well, you need to come out of your comfort zone, take that leap of faith and liberate yourself from your PJs and actually get out there and find love. Whether it's get online and meet someone and, you know, uh, even though you may feel a little bit nervous about it, you're just getting out there and doing it. And you're going to find that you're actually going to attract a lot of suitors. Whether it's you getting out there instead of online dating and putting yourself in a group scenario where you do something like a passion project or something creative that you really love doing, you're naturally going to find someone who's attracted to you. And then I feel uh, you break the ice with this person. And then there is a romantic connection. There is a flirtation. I definitely see flirty energy happening for you this month. So if you are looking for love, this is a ripe potential month for you to get out there and find love. Now, also, if you're stuck with some sort of career conundrum. I definitely see you liberating yourself from a routine. You're bringing a little bit more excitement into the working environment. Um, I feel you may challenge yourself in some way, or maybe even a colleague challenges you to something. Um, and it's very exciting. It gets things uh, a little bit interesting at work. And I see you become victorious. So whatever this challenge is, I mean, some of you may decide to uh, do a sporting event with the working environment if you've got teams or something like that, or you may even put yourself on some sort of challenge, um, sporty challenge, and you are the winner. I see you winning, whatever this is, okay? Now, the Three of Cups here, the Three of Cups is a card of celebration. There is something good coming your way, but I feel um, you've waited for this for such a long time and you thought it was not going to happen for you, but it is going to show up for you. Three of Cups also is an indication of going out uh, with friends, sharing energy, being with your circle of support. And if you have not been doing that uh, for quite some time, then now is the time you will change it, around about mid-March. I do, and I'm going to pull up the card on the, uh, the, the tower, I do feel like you're going to hear something shocking about a friend. Okay. Um, I mean, with the temperance card, I feel that, you know, everything will remain in balance, but it may throw things into chaos for a little while, but it will come back into balance. So I feel that you're going to hear some news about a friend. Um, the empress card, uh, this could be someone who's a little bit older than you. It doesn't have to be, but, um, there may be something shocking there six of pentacles, someone who is normally very generous to you and, you know, you, you and this person, you hear from each other from time to time. This person, either you hear, I feel like you hear news about this person, okay? 
can you please clarify anything more than that for my beautiful Leo? What do they need to know? I don't want you worrying. That's why I want to know a little bit more. Seven of Swords. Okay, so it could be that they, uh, you may hear something shocking about them, like they lied to you, or they were lied to, or that they've, I mean, some of you, I've got a small percentage, like 2%, so I'm going to mention it because it's popped up there. Some of you may hear that uh, they've run away uh, with a, a lover, and um, they're like changing their life, and their lifestyle, and they're keeping it very secret, so that's a little bit odd, but that's what I'm picking up there too. Um, some of you may hear that uh, your friend um, was like had a burglary or a robbery or a theft or something like that. It could be like something. I I don't feel like your friend is hurt. Okay, so that's I just want you to be aware of that. But you may hear of that uh, th regarding a friend. So um, listen out for that. Uh, it's not very nice, but it's all it's all going to be fine. But I just get a sense that you're going to hear something shocking about a friend. Um, now, we also have the Temperance card, which is in the reverse position. These two cards are in the reverse position. So uh, by the end of the month, they're in the upright. So you find balance, harmony, and uh, you know, a cause to celebrate. There's definitely some really great news coming on in. So I feel if you've got a passion project or something that you are focused on this month, uh, I feel like you see it through to the end, you complete it and you feel really proud of yourself and you celebrate that win. But with the temperance card, there may be a little bit of impatience going on in the month of March for you, okay? And you know, we all get impatient from time to time. I feel like you will notice this about yourself. And that's because you've been burning the candle at both ends. You're a little bit stressed out. You're a little bit overburdened. And sometimes when we uh, you know, have so much going on and we feel the pressure, we just get a little bit snappy, okay? I feel like you're going to notice that this time around because you're going to notice you need to manage your stress levels just for your health, okay? So I feel like you're going to take a step back and go, you know what? I'm doing too much. I need to just find a schedule that makes sure I'm in the flow of things. And if something doesn't matter in five years time, I'm not going to worry about it. Or if something, um, you know, annoys me in the moment, I'm not going to worry about it because it really doesn't matter. So I feel there, like if you drive a car, there may be someone who cuts you up and it really annoys you. Okay, because you've got a, a chariot card here as well. So I feel instinctively, you know, there's you'll avoid disaster. It, it, it's it's not an issue, but it may annoy you in that moment. Remember, whenever we get really annoyed or stressed about another person or another situation, it's actually hurting ourselves. Okay, it's it's like holding on to that poison and thinking, you know, if I just hold on to that anger the other person will be affected by it. But I feel the other person is not affected by it. The only person that is affected is you. So I feel like you're actually trying to manage stress levels this month as well, because there's a lot of energy here of personal development and self-care routines going on too. Now, the outcome energy, we've got the higher calling, so this is really influencing you because of your ninth house. This is about your reason for being or your true calling, your soul path, your life's purpose. And a lot of you have to make a major decision this month. And this decision, uh, I mean, some of you, your decision is about relocating. Some of you may suddenly find a, a property that you want to move into. Um, and you may move, you know, move closer to owning that property, or you may even uh, change where you live because uh, you feel um, you want, you don't want to live with uh, flatmates anymore. Anymore. you want to level up and move into an apartment by yourself. Um, so I feel instinctively you're making decisions this month that are in your best interest. Also with this card, this is a card of, um, you know, returning to something that perhaps you once enjoyed doing. So some of you, if for example, you used to be a performer or uh, someone who's very creative and artistic and you feel like you've disconnected from that for a while and took up a, you know, a job that paid the bills, I feel some of you will return to your artistic endeavors over, uh, the, uh, over March in general, but you'll keep it from you know, beyond March. I feel with this card, the chariot card and the higher calling card, it's like 
whatever your true path is, you have the passion, the drive, and the desire, and the tenacity to make it work, okay? You will be very successful in all of your endeavors. And this month is going to be a very productive month. Even though I feel like you are a bit of a homebody, some of you may even be trying to find a way to work from home, um, there's definitely an energy here of you still being passionate about your goals and finding the energy to see it through to the end and tie up loose ends and make sure that you finish what you start. I also get a sense here, uh, some of you, now I don't like to mention this, but because we got the higher calling, which is the judgment card, and that is the card of second chances, I feel if there's a friend who's lied to you or in some way, you know, upset you, I definitely get a sense that you and this person, you let bygones be bygones, you forgive each other and you move on, okay? I feel um, intuitively you know that you knew that this person's heart was in the right place is what I'm feeling. Um, uh, you both love each other dearly and deeply and I feel like there was no harm meant in the situation, a little bit of a misunderstanding. So uh, it could be a little bit of an argument or someone putting the pressure on um, in the month of March. Uh, also, there is uh, the potential for someone you used to date to reach out. I feel like this person wanted to reach out to you on Valentine's Day, but did not. They did that on purpose because they have pride and they felt that you would not return a message. So they didn't do it on Valentine's Day but I feel like they've been thinking about you quite heavily and they want to do it for March. So if you hear from an ex in the month of March, it means this person, they wanted to send you a message for Valentine's Day. Or, I mean, I mean, they could have sent you one for Valentine's Day, but the energy I'm getting right now is that this person thought about doing it, but got a little bit nervous about it and thought, you know what, I'm not gonna do that just in case Leo's got somebody else or, you know, and I feel like they, they're holding off and they're gonna do it in March. Okay, uh, let's move away from the X thing because I don't really, uh, you know, that thing, it, yeah, it, it's not exciting. Uh, I feel like you're moving on from that anyway because the chariot card indicates you're going in a different direction. And I feel a lot of you are thinking about your path and how you've outgrown some things in your life and you are moving in different directions now. You're committing yourself to other things. And this card indicates that you will make progress in any area of your life as long as you have that confidence and that energy, okay? And I feel like you are recharging your batteries to take on the month of March, because I feel like you're preparing yourself for April. I feel like there's something major in April for you that you want to do, and March is almost like a preparation month for you, okay? The chariot card, some of you may think about uh, moving, relocating, whether that's within your job sector, or whether that's you going traveling, or even thinking about uh, emigrating. If you're retired, you may be thinking about buying property abroad, and you may be trying to work out how to do it. Sometimes there are things that we all want to do in life, and and it's really difficult to find out uh, the ins and outs of how to make it happen. So, you know, you have to sift through a lot of like uh, jargon and, uh, you know, people waffling about how to do something. And you're like, just get to the point. I just want to know legally, how can I do this? Or do I have to go through, uh, you know, a realtor? Do I have to do, uh, how do I set up, um, I don't know, a trust fund? How do I do all of these things? Um, so I feel like you will find the right person to help you or the right information to help you on whatever it is that you are really thinking about this month. Okay. And I feel like you put it in action. So this is a big month for you where you, uh, something you've been wrestling with or something you thought was a big mountain to climb is actually easier than you thought, okay? Now, I do see with the Three of Cups and the Chariot card, victory here for you. Um, you accomplish something that uh, puts you in a position of success. So uh, this could be, you know, you winning a lucrative contract, or it could be that you get the job that you desire, or some of you, you're buying a car that you've had an eye on for some time and you've been saving up for. I feel ultimately you wanted to spend money on a car that perhaps was a little bit more expensive, but I feel like you get a better deal and a discount. You may find the same car elsewhere for a little bit less, okay? And you will celebrate that for sure. Um, with the chariot card, this does indicate you really keeping a tight rein on your finances, especially since the queen of wands is someone who tends, when it comes to cash, someone who tends to, you know, buy yourself a little something something, just as a little gift. And that's nice from time to time, but if every day is gift day, suddenly the bank account will be empty. So I feel um, you this month are really um, making sure that you don't um, spend 
too much. I feel actually you leave uh, the month on a high when it comes to finances, okay? Now, um, also with the chariot card, uh, I, I really get a sense of you wondering about your direction. Um, and they're, okay, they're giving me a hammer in the water right now. They're showing me a hammer. So either some of you are hammering right now as you're listening to this reading or you're thinking about doing some DIY. I mean, the hammer tends to represent hard work, trying to fix something in your life or trying to make something better or secure something. Uh, but it could be that you're doing some DIY or you're intending to do some DIY, or you've just bought something that perhaps needs to be assembled and you're putting it all together. But spiritually, it can mean that everything is starting to slot into place and that whatever it is you're building, you'll be really proud of yourself, that you did this and it's secure and um, you, know, you did this all by yourself. So I really feel that uh, there's some really good stuff coming for you in the month of March. Um, the High Priestess, I'm saying this to everyone because I feel it's intrinsic to your journey in month in the month of March and April because I feel there are major shifts and changes right up until May, okay? Even though we've got um, that wonderful planet Jupiter of good luck and expansion um, currently in our favor right up until May, I feel like there are major restructures uh, globally going on right now that will affect us long term and these I feel some of these will be implemented in March into April I really feel there is some sort of fluctuation perhaps that we will learn about round about that time and it's important that everybody uses their intuition as they're guided through this period okay now also the um the high priestess is someone who is very astute, someone who is very intelligent um, on another level, and that's you. You have a lot of wisdom. Now, the high priestess also is about knowledge and secrecy, and because we got the keyhole, um, I feel uh, in the water of the symbol, I mean, you could look at a billboard next week and see a sign of a keyhole on it, a picture of a keyhole, or, you know, um, Keyholes may be symbols for you. Hammer might be symbol for you also. So look out for these symbols and signs. I mean, you could literally be walking down the sidewalk and see a hammer on the floor and be like, whoa, that's weird. That hammer is just sitting there. Um, I mean, obviously someone's probably using it, but you will notice it as a sign that indicates that um, you're deep in thought about something in the month of March and you're making some major changes that may shock a lot of people around you. Some of you may even shock your friends with the things that you're changing in your life. But ultimately, you're leading the life that you want to lead, and you're actually um, moving towards a happier space in your life. And I feel everything is coming together in the way that you're hoping for. Uh, also, with the High Priestess energy, this is a card of deepening your faith and connecting to your higher wisdom. So a lot of you may be thinking about doing a little bit more meditation or finding some time for deep reflective thought. I mean, looking at your reading this month, uh, the month of March, um, you are really in deep thought. You are really in a self-reflective mode where you're doing a lot of processing things that have occurred and what's your next steps, what's your next move um, as well there. Now, Oh gosh, you know, Scorpio and Leo reading tends to be very, very linked. And they're actually showing me a chessboard for you. Uh, I think they showed me a chessboard for the uh, Scorpio reading for the month as well. Uh, so if you've got Scorpio placements, perhaps there's something in that reading for you. But uh, chess tends to mean that you're making a move or you're about to make a move in your life in some way. It could be leaving a job or a situation behind and you're just deeply reflective on it before you make the move. But I feel like you put yourself in a really good position because the chariot card is like checkmate. It is like, you know what? I've overcome the obstacle. I know how to win and I'm moving forward and you know I'm, I'm sweeping across the board at speed. Watch out, I'm coming through, that kind of energy. With the Knight of Cups, uh, moving on from the, the chess energy, the Nine of Cups is really about, um, well, it's a couple of things, really. The energy that I'm getting here is if you are looking for love, there is someone who is attracted to you. And this person, I feel, I mean, they may be at a distance from you, but I feel this is someone who's harboring a secret, someone who has a feeling, you know, deep feelings for you, and they're not telling you. Uh, so let me just pull a quick card on that. If you're not looking for love, I feel um, that... You could have an admirer who is just like, oh, okay. You could have an admirer here who is um, 
keeping their feelings to themselves because they don't want to rock the boat. They know that you've got someone else. But we've got the Nine of Pentacles here, which is to be self-sufficient financially, to be very independent. And um, I mean, you've got double nine. Okay, so on the surface, it looks like you've got it all. But below the surface, there's something you're worried about or something you are nervous about. And also the Nine of Swords is like you're not getting proper sleep or you're not giving yourself enough rest to be that glorious, bright, shining Leo that you normally are. So just make um, some time to, uh, you know, take a nap or whatever it is that you need to do to be on form. But the Nine of Pentacles tends to mean, you know, you're trying to build a healthier version of yourself so that you can, you know, um, save a little, that you can, uh, you know, have a lot of energy and focus on the things that matter and also have a little bit more freedom in your life. As you can see, she's holding on to, um, this is the nine, so she's holding on to two, four, six pentacles there. I don't know why I couldn't think. For some reason, I was like, well, if there's, I don't know why I couldn't do the math there. I just couldn't. Um, but anyway, she's holding on to six pentacles for herself and she's giving away three pentacles. So that means you're looking at life like now it's time to invest in me and I'll give a little bit of my energy out to other people or a little bit of my time to this situation, but unless it makes me feel happy, I'm not really going to invest in it. So I feel like you're looking at investment across the board. The thing that you focus on the most, that is the thing that will flourish financially or emotionally, it's going to be more rewarding. And I feel like you are kind of like the architect of your dreams um, and the architect of your reality at the moment, and you're building things the way that you want to. And I feel you're not letting anyone derail you from your path or your goal or your higher calling, okay? Um, now, instinctively, I feel like you're actually moving towards something that you love doing, whether it's a project or whether it's a move or whether it's getting out into nature or whether it's even, uh, you know, doing a job that you love. You, you realize that you are a gift Whatever it is you're connecting to, uh, anybody who is uh, connecting to you is lucky indeed, okay? Whenever you've got the Knight of Cups, this is a card of, you know, being encouraged to do something that you love or to seek pleasure. That's why I'm really getting this like introspection, being on your own energy, recharging your batteries, but not seeing your friends. This is also the universe encouraging you to get out there and be in the company of people that you love. And that they love you back as well. Uh, Knight of Cups, the cup of love always starts with the self first. So I really feel that you are uh, loving yourself a little bit harder this month. And um, I feel that you've got heightened emotions this month. So I feel uh, be aware of your thoughts because they truly become things. This is a very high month for you to manifest something that you truly desire because you are in such an emotional state in the month of March that uh, you can connect to a higher frequency and manifest and turn your visions into reality using inspired action, okay? So I'm just going to go get some final cards for you. Um, I do see that this is a month of action and that you will be still very productive, even though you want to curl up and just recharge your batteries. So don't get me wrong when I say that, you know, this is going to be um, a month where, you know, you're just going to be sitting there twiddling your thumbs. You're not. You're actually still doing a lot of things. Thank you so much, Spirit Guides and Angels. Can you please guide? They want three, so I'm going to give it. Okay. Three shuffles, five cards. So, um, they're giving me a song right now. Um, oh, this is a great song. I love this song. Uh, finally, a song I really know. Um, okay. In every life, we have some trouble, but when you're worry, you make it double. Don't worry. Be happy. Okay, beautiful song. I love that song. Um, that is by... Bobby McFerrin, I think. Um, I hope I said his name correctly. Um, yeah, okay, so again, I mean, that's standard, isn't it? Life is full of ups and downs, and when we worry, it actually you know, makes things worse because it's affecting our health, and if there's something we can do about something, we should just do it. But if we can't, there's no point in worrying because it's out of our hands and what is meant for us will never pass us by anyway okay so that song is relevant because you may hear it over the next four or five weeks 
and it indicates some really great news coming in for you. Whenever you get a song, it indicates change in your circumstances that brings good news, okay? So listen out for that song. You could hear it randomly on a play shuffle in the mall or on in a car as it drives past or even on an advertisement. So just listen out for that song. Now, the first card we got here is Stage. Okay, so I was saying you're meant to shine and you know, take the spotlight and the stage in your own personal life. You may not want to at first, but you will step into that as you move throughout the month. It says in the spotlight, attracting a lot of attention, desire to get noticed and becoming famous. So some of you, you may want to become famous and it may has, have taken you some time to get there. I do see that there is a, a big win for you, but there's even bigger yet to come, okay? So even if you don't want to be famous and on a bit of a uh, more grounded scale, uh, you may find that you stand out at work um, or a project that you do sets you apart from everybody else. This is about you shining your light and being your wonderful authentic self, okay? Now we've also got Acorn. So whatever you're investing in at this time, it is going to grow into something really exciting and stable. Uh, it says here, prosperity and abundance, good luck, energy, great things to come, perseverance and power. And I definitely see you persevering on something that perhaps has been difficult to overcome. It will work out in your favor. We've got saucer. Ooh, gossip, rumors, insincere friends, interface, your secrets are not safe. Now I told you, I picked up on that energy right at the beginning. You hear something, um, it could be, a, you know, it's, it's almost like gossip because you hear it almost through the grapevine. I feel like you're glad you heard it because you know where you stand with it. Um, and also there's something here with a friend that I picked up on as well. I know it says insincere friends here, but I, I feel like this particular person, their heart's in the right place when they do something, but it causes a bit of a cat amongst the pigeons moment, okay? Um, we've also got puzzle piece and it says here challenge problem solving disconnected detached missing something or someone oh my gosh there is your first keyhole okay so whenever I see images in the water it's because my guides are giving them to me to give to you so that you can see that I'm channeling energy for things to come in your life they may mean nothing in the moment but then suddenly everything slots into place so this is your first keyhole okay um, so any challenges that you've been experiencing you will find solutions to them but also everything is sliding into place and if you're missing someone, this person is missing you also, and expect that person to reach out. You're connected on a deeper level, okay? And finally, I mean, drop the mic, right? If I could drop it, I'd have to unscrew it actually, because it's way up in the air. I've had to get a new mic because uh, I soundproofed the room uh, so that you could all have a better sound because I've moved into my back room now. But there is the chessboard that they were showing me, okay? So this indicates being strategic, thinking it through, the power of the mind, and a battle is unfolding. But I feel like you win this battle, whatever this battle is, because the chariot card indicates you will be successful no matter what obstacle comes your way. This is a reminder that to be steadfast and exude self-control and self-confidence in your situation, and you will arrive and ensure your victory over any obstacle, okay? Be determined. Your willpower and determination will take you to where you want to go. So um, two signs that they've gave, given me so far, they've come out in the water and come out in the cards. So this really indicates um, that you're on track to have a great month. There are some bumps in the road, but I feel like you've got this, okay? So I'm just going to go and get a trinket before we close. We've got a butterfly. So this is a month of change, transformation. And you know, when you've got the introspection card and the moon card, this can mean that you're feeling a little bit lost or you're feeling a little bit like um, uncertain about the path, but the path will be revealed to you. You will know exactly what you need to do. The butterfly, you know, the caterpillar actually goes into the chrysalis and dissolves. You know, he doesn't go in there and just takes a nap and then suddenly becomes a butterfly. He actually dissolves his complete form or her complete form in order to transform and emerge as this glorious butterfly to spread their wings. So if you're feeling a little bit lost right now or you're feeling a little bit in limbo about your direction, it means you're about to emerge like a phoenix rising from the ashes, um, successful and glorious. So it tends to be sometimes a bit of a painful process or a difficult process. Sometimes you know, in order to be awesome at something, it has to be repetitive. We have to do something all the time, every day, over and over again, until we get really good at it. And it feels a little bit boring sometimes. 
And that's when your tower comes in handy because you liberate yourself from um, a repetitive cycle and you emerge by taking a leap of faith and showing everybody what you're capable of. And I really feel this month is one of those months for you, okay? So we'll leave it there. I hope something resonates for you. If it does, please like or subscribe to my channel. Completely free for you. All you have to do is press a little bell that lets you know when I update my next message. It lets me know that you resonate with the reading, which is so important for me too. Thank you so much, my beautiful Leo. Love and light.